Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, I am starting a new series for the subject Digital Image Processing. So without wasting the time, let us start the session. First session is Fundamental Steps of Image Processing. Just see, this is an image hai which you are visualizing currently. From our birth, we can visualize the image by using the eyes. So eyes are acting as receptors and it captures the image and the corresponding information is given to the brain. This is the natural phenomena. First we'll discuss what is an image. It is basically replica of object or scene which one can see. मतलब जैसे ये blackboard आप लोग देख रहे हो इस पे light the light is falling on this blackboard part of the light is getting reflected which is captured by your eyes so it is replica of object or a scene which one can see basically it is two dimensional function and it is a light intensity function the notation is f of x comma y ये जो coordinates हैं x y these are called spatial coordinates the coordinates with respect to space. This notation f, हम लोग read कैसे करेंगे? f is function of x comma y. जैसे मैंने बताया x y, these are spatial coordinates and f represents gray level. This gray level is proportional to the brightness of image. अगर कोई भी pixel, what is a pixel? Pixel, I mean there are many pixels in an image. By joining all the pixels, image is created. So the graph is basically graph of x versus y axis. Y axis is the horizontal axis. X axis is the vertical axis, which is moving downward. यहाँ पे origin है zero zero. A pixel, a point मैंने mention किया है, whose value is f of x comma y. This is the pixel and its position is x comma y. Now digital image. If you capture an image and if you perform sampling and quantization, then it is called digital image. ये सिर्फ definition है हम लोग ये पूरे concepts detail में learn करने वाले हैं and the sampling rate, I mean the value or the rate by which you are performing sampling of an image, this sampling rate should be sufficiently large so that maximum number of pixels of the captured image can be covered. So the sampling rate is corresponding to number of pixels per unit area. These are the basic definitions related to image processing. Next part is components or elements of image processing. From exam point of view, we may expect the question like this. Draw and explain the components of digital image processing or only image processing. So this is the block diagram which represents the elements which are used in case of image processing. Basic चीज़ है याद रखना है देखो image processing करना है मतलब एक image capture करके उसमें हम लोगों को changes करना है depending on the required application. This is basically image processing. So this is the block diagram of image processing. This is the problem domain means एक object हम लोगों को capture करना है वो जो object है that is uh, referred as problem domain. First block is image sensor. Very simple. Just say, I have given a natural example. Just say, this image you are watching. So your eyes are capturing this image. So eyes are acting as image sensor. In case of Im image processing, we are generally using CCD cameras to capture an image because. We have to capture an image. That means we have to capture, we have to collect the light which is getting reflected from that object which we want to visualize. So this major function is image sensor. Ka. Example is CCD camera. Next block is specialized image processing hardware. Actually, this block consists of digitizer. So as the name indicates, it converts the captured image into digital form by performing sampling and quantization. ये सब जो blocks हैं ये हम लोग detail में learn करने वाले हैं. Presently, just remember it like this. Image capture करने के बाद digitizer एक device है which converts the captured image into the digital form by performing sampling and quantization. 
it also contains ALU. ALU is normal, like a normal ALU which we use in uh, microprocessors, microcontrollers. So it is arithmetic logic unit. This unit is again uh, contained in specialized image processing hardware. So two major components are there in SIPH, that is specialized image processing hardware. One is a digitizer, जो इमेज कैप्चर किया हमने उसको डिजिटल में कन्वर्ट करेंगे एंड सेकंड इज अर्थमेटिक एंड लॉजिक यूनिट एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स इट इज रिस्पांसिबल फॉर परफॉर्मिंग सर्टेन अर्थमेटिक कैलकुलेशन दिस यूनिट इज बेसिकली यूज्ड टू परफॉर्म एवरेजिंग ऑफ द इमेज एंड इट इट हेल्प्स टू रिड्यूस द नॉइज कंटेंट इन द इमेज ये भी हम लोग डिटेल में लर्न करने वाले सो दिस इज द मेजर फंक्शन ऑफ स्पेशलाइज्ड इमेज प्रोसेसिंग हार्डवेयर Next, mass storage. This is very important part. In case of mass storage, see, if if you have an image which you have captured and size of image is one zero two four by one zero two four pixels. मतलब इतने pixels हैं. And let us assume that each pixel is represented by using eight bits. Then to capture, I mean to store such image. वन मेगा बाइट ऑफ मेमरी इज रिक्वायर्ड अगर हम लोग कुछ कॉम्प्रेशन नहीं कर रहे तो डायरेक्टली एक इमेज कैप्चर किया है जिसमें वन जीरो वन जीरो टू फोर रोज है आई मीन यू मे सिंपली ट्रेट इट लाइक दिस वन जीरो टू फोर रोज है जिसमें वन जीरो टू फोर पिक्सल्स है और कॉलम्स वन जीरो टू फोर है दिस इज द साइज ऑफ एन इमेज विच यू वी आर कैप्चर और एक पिक्सल रिप्रेजेंट करने के लिए हम लोग एट बिट्स यूज कर रहे हैं सो टू स्टोर सच इमेज वन मेगा बाइट मेमरी इज रिक्वायर्ड लाइक वाइज देर आर एन नंबर ऑफ इमेज सो दैट मच मेमरी स्पेस इज रिक्वायर्ड टू टू रिड्यूस डाउन द स्टोरेज बर्डन वी आर यूजिंग मास स्टोरेज सो इन केस ऑफ मास स्टोरेज अगेन वी कैन यूज द डिवाइसेज फॉर शॉर्ट टर्म स्टोरेजेस then we can use the uh, online storage that everyone knows or we can use the archival storage if uh, the frequent storage is required and so on this is the major function of mass storage then certain digital image processing softwares are also available by making use of those softwares we can make the required changes in an image ye bhi hum log detail mein learn karne wale so this is the function of digital image processing software we know that uh, by using languages like c cpp java we can uh, write the codes and we can make the changes in the program as well as there are certain separate dedicated softwares which are available for digital image processing then a uh, computer is this can be any general purpose computer like a laptop or we can use a super computer for for processing of an image then this block it's very simple image display so uh, generally we use lcd or crt display to visualize the image and if whenever it is required we can take the hard copy of an image so this is the block diagram or which shows different or major components used in case of digital image processing what are the advantages of this technique i mean what are the advantages of capturing image and converting it into digital form and then displaying it or then processing it that is digital image processing so advantages are such images can be easily stored once you have captured image and converted into digital it can be easily stored and image can be compressed iske liye compression ke algorithm se jo hum log detail mein learn karne wale hain then siph matlab specialized image processing hardware increases the storage capability and third advantage is using software processing uh, i mean uh, by making use of software processing the we can easily process or we can easily make changes uh, required changes in an image so this is about elements or components of image processing next part is fundamental steps of digital image processing this diagram shows what are the different stages or what are the different steps that are required to process the image digitally exam point of view se hum log question aise expect kar sakte ho explain the various fundamental steps used in digital image processing jaise maine bataya ye center pe ye database hai so everything is related to the database of an image now we will discuss all the things in detail 
ये एक ब्लॉक डायग्राम है पूरे सब्जेक्ट में हम लोग ये ये जो अलग अलग पार्ट्स लेके अलग अलग ब्लॉक से ये डिटेल में लर्न करने वाले हैं सो फर्स्ट ब्लॉक इज इमेज एक्वाइजेशन अभी अभी हम लोगों ने डिस्कस किया वी नीड टू कैप्चर एन इमेज मतलब एक ऑब्जेक्ट है दैट इज वी रेफर इट एज अ प्रॉब्लम डोमेन सो वी आर कैप्चरिंग एन इमेज दैट इज इमेज एक्वाइजेशन सो बेसिकली इमेज एक्वाइजेशन कैन बी ट्रीटेड एज इट इज द ब्लॉक विच इज यूज फॉर प्री प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ इमेज एंड फॉर फिल्टरिंग परपजेस मतलब नॉइज रिमूव करने के लिए एंड सो ऑन सो दिस इज अबाउट इमेज एक्वाइजेशन नेक्स्ट ब्लॉक इज इमेज इनाउंसमेंट ये एक्चुअली एक सब्जेक्टिव क्राइटेरिया फुलफिल करने के लिए ब्लॉक यूज करते हैं सो आई एव रिटर्न सब्जेक्टिवली टू ऑप्टेन सब्जेक्टिवली बेटर इमेज इमेज इनहसमेंट टेक्निक इज यूज जैसे मैंने बताया ये हर एक टेक्निक हम लोग डिटेल में लर्न करने वाले हैं दिस इमेज इनहसमेंट टेक्निक इम्प्रूव ओवरऑल क्वालिटी ऑफ एन इमेज इट इज बेसिकली यूज टू हाईलाइट सर्टन फीचर्स ऑफ एन इमेज एक वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इमेज इमेज इनहसमेंट इज इंक्रीजिंग द कॉन्ट्रास्ट रेशो ऑफ एन इमेज तो ये सब्जेक्टिव क्राइटेरिया है नेक्स्ट ब्लॉक इज इमेज रिस्टोरेशन जैसे इमेज इनहसमेंट में इसमें मैंने सिंपल एग्जाम्पल बताया हम लोग कॉन्ट्रास्ट चेंज कर सकते हो और ये सब्जेक्टिव है वेर एज इमेज रिस्टोरेशन इज अगेन मेकिंग चेंजेस इन एन इमेज बट बाय यूजिंग सर्टन मैथमेटिकल टेक्निक और बाय यूजिंग सर्टन प्रोबेटिक टेक्निक सो इट इज ऑब्जेक्टिव क्राइटेरिया एंड वी आर सपोज टू मेक यूज ऑफ मैथमेटिकल और प्रोबेबलिस्टिक टेक्निक्स नेक्स्ट ब्लॉक इज कलर इमेज प्रोसेसिंग एवरी वन इज अवेयर ड्यू टू इंक्रीज ऑफ इंक्रीज इन द यूज ऑफ ऑल सच इमेजेस और यूज ऑफ इंटरनेट टेक्निक्स एंड ऑल दैट वी कैन प्रोसेस द इमेज इन कलर फॉर्मेट्स विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन डिटेल नेक्स्ट इज वेवलेट प्रोसेसिंग टू ऑप्टेन वेरियस डिग्रीज ऑफ रिजोल्यूशन दिस ब्लॉक इज यूज विच इज वेवलेट प्रोसेसिंग by making use of this wavelet uh, processing techniques or wavelet processing methods we can uh, we can divide image into various sub sections then that is required for compression of an image the next blocks are compression we have discussed that to store image without compression a large amount of memory space is required to so to reduce down the required memory space uh we are going to compress an image different compression algorithms are available like rlc run length coding then hopmans coding and so on so by making use of these algorithms we can compress the image so that we can store maximum uh, images in the available memory space the next block is morphological image processing so it is basically this block is basically used to extract different image component uh, which are responsible for representation of shape of an image aise yaad rakh lo make it more simple alag alag image components bahar lena hai image se aur kuch processing karna hai so for that morphological image processing is used next block is segmentation as the name indicates we can divide the image into different segments so we can make a partition of image available image into different segments basically it represents separation of an object from its background next block is representation and description uh, basically as the name indicates it is used to represent the image in different formats then there are different descriptors one is boundary descriptors which are used to identify edges or corners of an image then regional descriptors which are used to obtain skeleton of an image jaise ek jaise ek nut bolt hai uska skeleton obtain karna hai so to obtain all such things representation and description techniques are used next is op object recognition so after uh, performing this description and all such stages you need to assign certain label to captured object captured image so this part is done by object recognition and we already discussed this is the database matlab ek image capture karne ke baad usko code word mein uh, store karenge hum log that is the available database and making use of this database we can make all this uh, uh, we can apply all these processing techniques so 
जैसे मैंने बताया ये अलग अलग प्रोसेसिंग टेक्निक्स है जो पूरे सब्जेक्ट में हम लोगों को डिटेल में लर्न करना है सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दैट्स इट फॉर टूडे सेशन सो थैंक यू थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो